Hello, how are you? The topic of this video is C++ Tutorial 4 Pass unique pointer to a function by value or reference. So far, we have covered the features of unique pointer like preventing memory leaking, keeping unique ownership, and also learned the preferred way to create a unique pointer with make unique function. When you start using unique pointer, it's likely at some point you will pass it around. How does it work considering unique ownership requirement? Let's first take a look at how to pass a conventional variable to a pointer. Suppose we have a variable named val, declared as integer, assigned with value 3. You can pass it to a function by value. Any change to variable val in the function foo will not affect the original val value in the calling function. You can also pass variable val to function by reference with operator ampersand, the change to val in function foo will affect the original val value in the calling function. These are the basic knowledge of passing variable to function by value and by reference. In this tutorial, we are more interested in how to pass an unique pointer to a function either by value or by reference. First, pass by value. Here is a little bit of theory. Pass a unique pointer to a function by value is called sync, which means the ownership has been transferred from the calling function to the callny function. We will see how this is done in the demo. This is the program used in previous tutorials. Run the program with Ctrl plus F5. The output is the same as before. Now add a function pass by val. Accepting an argument p of unique pointer for type class A. Returning the same unique pointer for class A. Display a message in the function pass by value. Show the value to ensure the pointer is working properly. Finally, return pointer p. In the calling function, here is a main function. Call the function with parameter p and assign it back to p. Will this work? Build it. The compile failed with the message. attempting to reference a deleted function. 
The reason has been explained in the previous tutorial on the ownership of unique pointer. There can only be one owner at any time. The feature is called non-copyable. The correct way to transfer the ownership from calling function is to use standard move function. Let's change it. Build again. It's successful. Now run the program. Here is the output. In the calling function, pass by value. The value 3 from unique pointer is displayed. The ownership has been transferred, and the, the new pointer is working. In the calling function main, the ownership has been returned to the original owner, and the old pointer is still working. The new and old pointers are actually point to the same class object A. The only change between calling and colony is the ownership. This is how to pass unique pointer to a function by value. Next, let's take a look at how to pass unique pointer to a function by reference. In this case, the calling function still owns the unique pointer. We will create a void function called pass by reference with unique pointer p of class A as argument. Notice we have to use ampersand to indicate passing by reference and define function as void because the pointer won't disappear after calling the function. Copy the code from function pass by value, except the return statement. Change the message to pass by reference. No other changes to the rest of the code. Come back to the calling function main. Comment out the statement that calls pass by value function. Add a new statement to call function pass by reference with pointer p. Since p is passed by reference and ownership is not transferred, we use p directly. No need to use move function as in pass by value case. Run the program. Look closer to the output. It shows in pass by reference function, pointer p is working properly by displaying value equals 3. And back in main function, the value 3 from p is still available. That's how we pass unique pointer to a function by reference. Here is the code used in the demo. Part 1. Define class A. Part 2. Define function pass by value. Part 3. Define function pass by reference. Part 4. Main function. In summary, we can pass unique pointer to a function by value. Remember to use standard move function to transfer ownership at calling function. We can also pass unique pointer to a function by reference. Remember to use ampersand to declare the argument in the colony function. In this series of tutorials on C++ unique pointer, we have covered its features like automatic deletion to prevent memory leaks, unique ownership, no copy constructor. We also learned the recommended way to create a unique pointer with make unique function. In this session, we saw how to pass unique pointer to a function 
by venue or by reference. Thanks for watching.